Hey there, everybody. Good morning. Happy 4th of July to you. Independence Day here in the States. In honor of that, we have a special topic today. The freedom to succeed. Freedom to succeed. That's our what we're going to hit today, our topic today. Stick around. Be right back. This is 7 Minutes in the Morning, where five days a week, you get tips and hacks dedicated to helping business owners and leaders just like you find and break through the one thing that is preventing your success. And now, here's the host of 7 Minutes in the Morning and your results coach, Tom Rigsby. Mm, put down my big cup of coffee there. Hey, everybody, good morning. Welcome to a July 4th installment of 7 Minutes in the Morning. My name's Tom Rigsby, your host. Listen, when you get here, whether you're watching live or as many of you will do today, watching on the replay, please take a minute and leave a comment in whatever venue where you are. And I understand sometimes that uh, can seem like a, um, what do you call a lost cause? Um because it's not in the live stream, but I do read them. I reply to many of them and would love to see your comments. Just let me know that you're here and watching and enjoying the show. Um, okay, I said that extra and that derailed me. So whether you're watching live or on the replay, go ahead and leave a comment and say hello, just like Catherine has done already this morning. All right, so quick show maybe today. I, every time I say that, it turns out to be a 10 or 15 minute show. But um, in, uh, in honor of Independence Day, freedom, you know, the celebration of freedom today, I wanted to talk about the freedom to succeed. The freedom to succeed. You know, we, we've talked a lot this week, and, and really kind of in, back into last week too, about confidence and finding clarity and confidence. And so what I wanted to point out to you this morning, you know, Freedom, freedom is a two-edged sword, right? A lot of people think of freedom, think, oh, oh, I can do whatever I want to. In fact, I talk to a lot of people. One of the first questions I ask a new coaching client is, why do you want to start this business? A lot of them, one, probably one of the most popular answers is um, to work for myself so I don't have to have a boss like man you're going to be disappointed because you're trading in one boss for you know hopefully two or three hundred right i mean the the freedom that you think comes with owning a business the other edge of that is well now you're responsible to all of your customers with every exercise or every achievement of any kind of freedom there's an additional responsibility think about when you um came of age and were able to drive right well I've got almost the ultimate freedom now right I have a car I can go wherever I want to go but an immense amount of responsibility comes along with that so there's always this two the, the, there's two sides to the same coin two edges to the sword however you you know whatever metaphor you want to use there but when we think about the freedom to succeed Right? What's the other side of that one? Well, in, in, a, in addition, you know, sometimes the other side of the freedom coin is what's the opposite state? Right? It's, it's being confined, restrained, held prisoner. Sometimes we, we well, I'm going to mess around and quote the eagles here. Um, what is the song? I think it's already gone, I think, is the song. Anyway, um, they talk about so oftentimes it happens that we live our lives in chains, never even realize that we have the key, right? We create these own boxes that we hold ourselves prisoner in, right? Maybe you've done that too. I mean, it's, um, I'll do this, I, I'll quit my job and start this business when X, Y, and Z happens. Well, you just built three walls of a you know four-sided cell there, and the only out you gave yourself was to keep the job, right? So it's not always. In fact, I would say it's virtually never 
someone else holding you back. I know we talked about this last week. If you believe someone else is responsible for your for your failure, then you are also saying that they are the ones responsible for your success. Just think about that for a minute. All right, so freedom to succeed. Freedom is not found waiting on the answer. It's not found reading books or as much as I love and enjoy having you guys here, it's not found watching videos. So where is it found? Right? It's taking action. Being bold, being brave, taking action that creates results. That's it. How do you separate yourself from the pack? You start running faster than the pack. You move in a different direction than the pack. Is that scary? Sure it is. That's why I talk about confidence and courage all the time. <laughs> of course it's scary. But that's what it takes to gain the freedom from the pack. Is to separate yourself from the pack. It's scary because you're putting yourself out there. You're more at danger. You, you, you don't have the safety of, um, you, you know, if you're in a, in a bigger company, you don't have the safety of someone else being responsible for sales. Now you're responsible for sales. If it doesn't go well, you can't say, well, they didn't sell. I mean, you can. You just have to do it in the mirror. They didn't sell. Right? With that freedom, don't, don't constrain yourself. Pursue freedom, but with that freedom comes great responsibility. Yeah, Catherine says, the only person holding you back is staring at you in the mirror every morning. I believe that. So, um, let's see what else we got here. Most of the time we build our boxes in such small increments that we don't even realize that we're stuck in a box. That's a fact. We just layer one more thing on it and one more thing on it. That's what... You know, in, um, see, I told you this was going to go longer. In software development and in a lot of uh, new product development, there's this idea of MVP, minimum viable product. And it really results from this idea that, okay, I'm going to draw this line and this is what it takes to release the product. And when all these tasks are done, we're going to let the product go. And if you don't think about it in that way, you can always, always, you can always find more things to add to the list. But that MVP list shouldn't be adding to that. At some point you thought that was enough. It should be really hard to add something to that list. Kind of like amending the Constitution. All right. Anyway, that's it. hope you guys have a, uh, a fun and safe uh, 4th of July. I'm going to go ahead and take the day off tomorrow. So there won't be a show tomorrow. But... And so, consequently, I'll go ahead and wish you a happy weekend also. But we'll be back here on Monday. I think that's the 8th. So 4th, 5th, 6th, 7th, 8th. On Monday the 8th. Uh, you guys have a great day today, a great weekend. And I will see you on Monday. Take care.